Hello, welcome back. This is CryptoMux, aka Zoid, and in this video, we're going to be talking about ways to find cross site skipping with a tool called Exodus Tron. Coming right up. Okay, so Exodus Tron is a browser based Exodus detection tool. It uses Electron JS browser to find cross site scripting vulnerabilities. Um, it's a really unique way to find cross site scripting vulnerabilities and it can detect many cases, especially post request too. Now, remember, post requests are not that impactful, so maybe try and chain, uh, chain it with a CSRF vulnerability and maybe that we increase it just a tiny bit because it still requires user interaction, so it may not be that. Um, that impactful, but there's many other different vulnerabilities or ways you could chain uh, post XSS. So I have felt, like, stumbled across some problems with um, Linux or Debian Ubuntu. Um, they have the solutions down here at the bottom. Um, try using these commands. Uh, I may fix the problem, may not. So I just thought I'm using, I'm running uh, Linux on Windows. Let's just try Windows. So. I'm going to be talking about how to install it on Windows in a tick, but I just want to show you the features it has. So it has the option to mass serial scan, which is very useful. I've been wanting a tool that has this feature for a long time. It also has uh, the XSS Tron actually produces a proof of concept with the payload that's tried out or that's tested and also some other various things like, um, you know, the a bit of the response to or the, the DOM or just the, the where it's injected with things like that. So we want to just get started and install this. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to go to the Node.js website, which is just HTTPS double column slash slash Node.js.org. Um, and we want to download the current version for Windows X64, X32, whatever architecture, architecture you've got. Once we do that, we want to go to where we downloaded it to and install it. Now, when we install it, we do not want to tick that add additional tools because that will take way too long and it's not really necessary. So after it's installed Node.js, no it should just install, it should install, it's, it takes a really, it's really quick. Then we want to download the Exodus Tron framework. So just click on uh, download zip. We can use git if you want to, but you have to install it for Windows, which is not really necessary. So download the zip file. Then we want to extract it in a directory of our choice. I extracted it to a directory called tools. Um, and here's what it looks like right here. Next step is to open up a PowerShell um, command line. Go to that directory and type in npm install. That should install uh, npm with all the packages. should install the packages, the dependencies. After that, you want to type in npm start. And now that should pop up a nice little uh, Chromium browser. Um, like so. Awesome. It's just going to load the browser right now. So this is, this is loaded now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to load this um, domain in here into XSS Tron, the electron based browser. It should pop up a, um, a little uh, little box saying that things that it's tested. Um, and what we want to do is we just want to, we just basically want to go through the website and type in things, everything in the input. It doesn't really have the feature to um, spider as you load a website, which would be pretty cool, but we can we could maybe figure out a way later on. So obviously it's found an XSS vulnerability in this um, search parameter. And even gives you the URL and, and um, the payload tested, which is pretty cool. Um, so all we need to do now is copy this payload um, into the field and it should execute JavaScript. Let's have a look here. Boom, it ex ex executed it and it says lab is, um, it solved, it really solved uh, the lab. Now, what about if you want to do bug bounties with this? So there is a cool way we can do that is we can download um, the bug bounty program subdomains from uh, a website called Chaos, um, I think it's called Chaos Project Discovery. Now this actually has um, basically all the bug bounty programs that are out there, but they they collect to they collect the subdomains on a daily basis. So as so much so far, it's up to 5.836 billion uh, subdomains in total. So what we can do is we can sort out by um, with rewards or 
um, if we want just paid programs. Um, and with that, we can just click on this button saying program and just download all of the um, subdomains. And then we're not going to be talking about much about that yet, but what I've, I've have this, I have done some basic um, subdomain scans on all, um, on some programs, but we just want to cut out and we can use a first of all we can use a tool called Gaos or Gao. So we want to cut cut out the subdomains. Um, file and feed that into uh, the Gao um, program and we only want to grep for parameter based uh, links. So with that we would save that to a, fo uh, a file called links.txt. I've already saved it so um, I'll just show you the output of it first. I've already saved it to a file that's what it should look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the links file. We're not going to be doing them all just because um, it could take a bit of time. But I figured the last video I recorded, uh, this website blocked me. So um, let's just cut out and let's ignore uh, this website here. And see if it discovered anything else. No, it didn't. So let's just do this all again. Um, so we're going to remove the links and we're going to... Um, do this Gao, but we're also going to grip four parameters and ignore this uh, domain here. And then we're going to tee it out to a file called links.txt. Now we're not going to be basically, we're not going to be doing it, we're not going to be uh, fetching all the links of all these domains because it will take a lot of time. So we're just going to be um, fetching for some of them and then we're going to be testing that with XSS Tron. Another useful way of doing this is we can also um, uh, put a program in scope um, on in burp and spider through the host and then copy all the links and put them into Exocytron mass scan option as well. So if you want to find the mass scan option, it's just this little icon up here in the top right hand corner of Exocytron. So we'll just wait until these uh, links have been found and then we'll use the mass scan option to find to see if we can find any cross site scripting vulnerabilities. So it's just taking a bit of time because what I'm doing is ignoring this domain here because this actually blocked me. So I don't want to happen in, in the next uh, lot of URLs. And here we go. Now we got started. Awesome. So we're just going to just test out these few here. Let's just test out these few here. So let's just go um, starting from here. Let's go up and let's just go up until about here, I reckon. So let's go to Exodus Tron and let's just do a mass scan. Now, obviously for you, you'd probably want to... Um, keep this going and just leave it, paste all the URLs into this uh, your mass URL scan and see if we can find anything. But at the moment, it's oh, so this is a, J, a JSON, oh, um, JSON query, so uh, it's testing out obviously the WJSON embed, um, and it will hopefully pop up with um, an alert box if it found anything, if it found any vulnerabilities. That's just from the port squiggle example. Let's get out of that. So it hasn't found anything yet. Um, but it will pop it in the box if it did find something. So, yes, that's pretty much the tool there. So, yeah, that's about it for using XSS Tron to find XSS vulnerabilities. There is another project called No XSS, which is an, a similar than XSS Tron, except it's more like a browsing extension and can, can run a little bit quicker in different ways. But with XSS, uh, No XSS, um, I'll even show you the, uh, the website. It's made by Brute Logic, which he's an awesome guy. He's helped me quite a bit with um, just bug boundaries in general, cross sites. I actually haven't contacted him for a while, so I need to uh, get in contact with him because he's such an awesome guy. Um, so this is another tool that you can use. Um, it, it, you can get a free one and a paid one. Um, and you can click on Get Started and it will show the different tiers. So free obviously only does a limited amount of cross site scripting findings. And if you want to get the, the Pro or the one year license for, the, the, the pro version, uh, it, it costs $150 a year, which is really cheap actually. Um, and this is what it will find, it does everything. And it's pr pretty good, I love it as well. But you can try, if you just want a better alternative for the free no XSS, just use XSS Tron. Okay, so I hope you love this video. Uh, give me a like if you liked the video. Give me a subscri subscribe to the video because I'll always appreciate subscribers. Um, I love making content for you guys. Um, if you don't like the video, give it a dislike. You know, it's your life. You're allowed to dislike whatever you want. I'm not forcing you to like my video, but I would love the subscription and the like. So, 
yeah, have a nice uh, evening, day, morning, whatever time of the day it is for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.